What's up guys, your boy Swiss Teams back again with the second Carlobe Draft. And we're real close to 100 subscribers, so if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and like the video if you are enjoying it. And I should have a Commander slash Brawl video up like latest next week, since I know a lot of you have subscribed because of the Brawl videos and not my drafts. But yeah, let's look at our rare. When Pyrotechnic Performer or another creature you control is turned face up, this deals damage equal to its power to each opponent. 2 mana 3 2 with some upside. Is it the best card? It seems decent. Decent card. Wow, I wouldn't really consider it a bomb. Other good cards are the Gadget Technician. And... Sidious Roots is a fun build around, probably. But I think I will just take the rare. This will probably fight down on Prime. Another rare. When Coveted Falcon attacks, gain control of target permanent you don't control, but... Wait, sorry. Target permanent you own, but don't control. Okay. Two mana to flip it after disguising it. When it's turned face up, target opponent gains control of any number of target permanents you control. Draw a card for each one they control this way. Okay, so you flip it and give them some of your permanents, but whenever it attacks, it gets those permanent backs. And when you give them those permanents, you draw cards. So honestly, it does seem pretty good. But just to follow this up, I kind of want to take the shock. Which I think is a pretty good removal with all the three mana, two twos running around. But yeah, this is still my second draft. The, but this format's been out for almost a week now. So I'm wondering if it's already, you know, de-evolved into Boros Aggro, like every single <laughs> deck ends up doing. Speaking of Boros Aggro. Ooh, this is also very good. Technician is good. Multiple commons. Yeah, another thing I realized is they made changes to the booster packs. So that there's only 14 cards per pack now. It's kind of close, eh? Sorry. Yeah, there's only 14 cards per pack. You can get some of the same commons. And I think they reduced the amount of different types of commons there are. So there's like 80 now, and there's about 100 un different uncommons you can get. I don't know if that's good for the game or bad, but that is what they did. I don't know why they reduced the number of cards per pack, though. That seemed a little unnecessary. Honestly, I think I'm going to take the dog walker here. You can flip it and mix two 1-1 one -one creatures. Another slime against humanity, but honestly, it was a little underwhelming. In my last deck, we got a makeshift binding here. Exalt our creature gain to life. The Hedge Whisperer. You may choose not to untap Hedge Whisperer during your untap step. Four mana collect evidence for target land you control becomes a 5 5 plant or creature with haste for as long as Hedge Whisperer seems, remains, un, remains tapped. Also seems pretty good. And I think I actually like this enchantment as well. But yeah, I think I'm going to stick with the binding here. Breakout and the case of the trampled garden. Red herring over 2 2 haste. And maybe we take the breakout. Look at the top six cards of your library. You may reveal a creature card from among them. If the value, if that card has value two or less, you may put it onto the battlefield and it gains haste until end of turn. And if you didn't put a card into your hand, or sorry, if you didn't put the revealed card onto the battlefield, put it into your hand. Okay. And this was two counters on something and you can solve it. If you have eight or more. Guess I'll take the breakout. I don't know, that's pretty close there. Now there's a Helion. If you want to stay white. I mean, sorry, if you want to go deeper into green. This Phantom is probably okay as well. And this seems like a pretty decent enchantment, right? It gives a creature plus two, plus two in Vigilance and, until end of turn. Sorry, it gives enchanted creature plus two and plus two, plus two, plus two in Vigilance permanently. And it gives another creature plus two, plus two. And vigilant until end of turn. So it's a lot of damage out of nowhere, but 
seems like red green is a little open. Goblins? Do we have goblins? No. <laughs> um, call to call surprise witness. Return target card with convertic mana cost three, or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Put a flying counter on it. It's a spirit in addition to his other types. Seems pretty decent. This is probably just gonna be a two-two haste, I assume. So, not too great. So yeah, we'll see on the idea of either red, white, or red, green. But I mean, we haven't really seen much red aside from our first two picks, right? So, could it see us pitching the red even? Um. Take the Vigilante, enters the battlefield, attacks, put a plus one plus one counter on our creature you control with power two or less. Well, I said there weren't much red, but all of a sudden, <laughs> just got a bunch of red. I think we'll take the two drop here. Seeing some decent black as well. When this is turned face up. It drains three, but a six mana to flip. But a three mana three three is pretty good. Enters the battlefield tapped. All right, let's take the make your move just because we're running out of time here. And nice, the crook did wheel. But we do have to sacrifice an artifact to make this good. That was the other card I was considering to take out of this pack, though. Maybe I don't know this set very well. And also we got the uh, convenient target back as well. Okay. I mean, it's cool that we got those cards back, but it's a little scary because that means people don't think they're good. Might be real off with my evaluation. Dark creature gets plus two plus oh, gains haste until end of turn. When it dies, creates a two detective. This costs three less. If you sacrifice an artifact, the spell can't be countered. Deals four damage. Sorcery speed. Destroy target creature. Sorcery speed. Put a plus one plus one counter on target suspected creature you control. And the Gadget Technician. You can turn face up for two red. And make a 1-1 one, one Lying Thopter. Let's take the removal here. Ooh, Cranko. I don't know what it does. But Cranko's usually good. Ooh, now I kind of wish I got that Goblin. <laughs> I guess it only gives them haste, it doesn't buff your other goblins but yeah sacrifice an artifact put a plus one plus one counter on each card goblin you control whenever an artifact is put into the graveyard from the battlefield you may pay red if you do create a one one this is good as a three mana three three haste hopefully we can get more artifact synergy we are passing this tin street gossip and another shock and the panther and the binding but let's play with the rares That seems kind of insane. <laughs> Hello? Creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Whenever another creature uh, enters the battlefield under your control, this deals one damage to each opponent. All right, looks like we are solidifying ourselves in red, white, some Boros aggro. Nightwatch would be a good wheel. Formant would be fine. Maybe this is a scapegoat deck. One, one. Suspect creature with haste. And you can move the suspect later. But that's a hard hitting question. And a bite down on crime here as well for some fight. And or I guess they're both punch effects. Um, yeah. Flip it upside. Flip it up and it's a 3-2 double strike tramper. That's a good way to finish off the opponent. Thing a little quiet because my dog is barking. But yeah, we are passing another Technician and a Bystander. There's also a Murder in the pack. But I don't know how good removal is in this format because of all the ward. It seems pretty good. Though it would be a little awkward in our deck. Some good black removal. Yeah, I think I'll take Nut on my watch still. 
passing a lot of decent red black. But the war leader kind of wants me to just stick red white if we can. Guess we take a Helion. Yeah, this pack's real bad for us. Uh oh, bait. Maybe we're getting baited. Maybe I'm getting baited into red, white, and I should just switch here. Even as it is, even a panther here if we want to splash the hall. Okay. Maybe we are <laughs> red green after all. I think I'll take the combat trick here. Or do I just want this two drop? Dang, I kind of wish I took more green cards now. Interesting. We have a decent amount of disguise, but maybe I want this first strike spell. <laughs> it's a dog walker and another rare. When it's turned face up, exile another non land permanent you control. Or another non land permanent. If you control it, return it back to the battlefield tap. Otherwise, it gets. Its controller gets a 2 2. White and blue detective. Okay, seems pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, this is. What am I missing out on? A dog walker? Maybe I should just pick the dog walker here. <laughs> As I can play it in both decks. But I just want to try out the rares. Put this for double white if I want. It's a lightning helix now. All right, back, back to, back to the white, blue, Boros aggro. <laughs> Even though it's not particularly open, our deck seems pretty decent. We're passing an inside source, which makes a one one and a two two. And another due diligence, but I want the lightning helix. Is there any way we can splash? We don't really have any fixing, right? Do we want a knife? Gives your creature plus one at first strike. We sacrifice an hour if I put a counter on this. I mean, we can turn this up, face up for double white, so I think that's still okay. And miss it again. Tried to draft it on my first draft, but we just didn't really get there. Another make your move, but I don't want to. I don't think we have an artifact, enough artifacts to make this good. Maybe another convenient target. The escape tunnel if you want to splash something. Just need a couple more playables. Another suspicious detonation detonation and a arrival is probably pretty decent in this deck as well. Yes, yeah, so we'll take one more. It's gonna be five mana in my deck, so I think I'm actually gonna take the arrival. Furious Rage now. Do we already have one on the sideboard? We don't. Okay. Another crowd control. And most of these can be cast for three. Wow, 
<laughs> it's an overrun effect, but I don't think we need that. Let's just take this flyer. Nice dog walker wheeling is great. I mean, I think Dex still got there. But should have been red, black, or red, green, probably. Don't know how I feel about this red herring. And we got a lot of disguise for our um, pyrotechnic performer, which is nice. We did end up wheeling one of these due diligences, which I might try out here. Does put push a ton of damage. Another convenient target as well. Didn't get too many ways to make artifacts though, if any. This detonation is a little awkward. It's a five mana deal for. Alright, so what do we want to cut? Maybe the due diligence potentially. The not on my watch. Maybe. Herring. How many two drops will we have otherwise? One of these convenient targets probably. Let's see. Again, we can play this for threes, so that's fine. This gets played for three, this gets played for three. What do we have for artifact sex? Not much, right? Not anything. We have the automaton and that's about it. So our Cranko and our Rook don't look great here. To make a artifact of the arrival. So I think we cut the Crook. Seems a little too weak. Probably don't need this rage. Not a fan of the red herrings. So I'll cut that as well. It is an artifact, I guess. <laughs> or the Cranko and stuff. But not something you want to sack to that. I guess we don't need the due diligence. Again, like, we're going to be attacking. Like, we our plan is to attack so much. I don't know how good. Is not on my watch might be dead in my hand, but I think I'll start it off, see how it goes, and potentially um just cut it if things are not going well. Got, got a lot of double red and double white, but I don't want to run a fetch land in this deck as it enters tapped. Question is, do we want more red or more white? I think I'm gonna go one more red just because the ones we have here. Okay, this is our deck. It looks like yeah, this looks like our deck that we're gonna run. We'll consider cutting the not on my watch for like another creature or the due diligence. If it remains dead in our hand too much. But yeah, let's run it and see how we do. Nice right, so on the play. We do have a two drop, but one I want to disguise. However, I will just play it out if we don't hit a different one. Do need to hit a third land really bad. <laughs> Otherwise, we're in deep trouble here. Ooh, Tunnel Tipster is really good. And yeah. No land means uh, we're probably, we're probably 
screwed. <laughs> Unfortunate game one, but I guess it is what it is. Hopefully we draw one next turn. Maybe the attack with a tunnel tip tips turn I can at least exile it. Dang it. Okay, line is good. Let's attack for three here. We can bring it back with the knot on my watch. If we need to later. And let's play out the Warden, I think. Ah, let's play the Basher. Sure, we'll find a target for Make Your Move against the uh, green deck. I'm not too worried about that. Let's put the warden face down here and pass the turn. Don't want to trade my basher. But yeah, the hipster's getting a little scary here. That's a good exile target. But yeah, let's just attack with the basher because we can flip it and it has double strike. Yep. I think that's pretty good for us. This tunnel tip needs one more counter for us to be able to exile it with the make your move. Did have a removal for our basher. A little unfortunate. How much is this to flip? Five. Next turn we're probably just playing the Surprise Witness plus a Disguise. I mean, if they double block this trades for both creatures, which is pretty decent. But I think I'd rather just play out a Disguise plus this, all your all the Surprise Witness still. And then when this flips, it gets counters equal to the number of other creatures you control. So having two other creatures on the board, we can let it. We can make it flip as a six-six instead of a four-four. But I mean, I could have attacked. Maybe they just didn't block, and they took two extra damage. They are stuck on three land, but this tipster has been really saving them. Dang. Hmm. I guess I'll just flip this if they block. Do they have another removal spell of sorts? How many removals have they had? Just two? Feels like more for some reason. No! Oh, we can actually destroy that. Four, five, six, five to flip. Flips as a five, five. It'll trade for both their creature if they block. Or I could play out the Cranko and destroy the enchantment. Or I could disguise this warden and destroy the enchantment before they can shuffle the accusation or they can shuffle the hellion back into my deck I think I like that better but yeah look this <laughs> not on my watch has just been stuck on my hand 
make sure to not accidentally target my Hellion there. Flip this as a 6-6. Six, six. They might have to flip and bounce a creature though. Seventh mana doesn't really help us. I'm hoping they don't have the flip bounce a creature, but... I accept. They turn the space up anyways? Yeah, I think so. Okay, not too bad. Wonder what their morph is though. Now if we draw another land, at least we can flip flop Kranko, I guess. This could be the 6-7 morph, which makes it a little concerning to attack with crowd control warden. But if it is the 6 mana flip, I think this is just lethal anyways, right? They eat this, they take 9 damage. Okay, sweet. I guess it wasn't that, so yeah. Okay, we got game 1. A little worried when we stumble on lands, but sweet. Let's get to the next one. On the play again. Same decision of playing this on 2 or hold in it. Again, I probably will play it on 2. Yeah, just so much pressure, especially if they just play something I can shock, but I guess I'm playing the Warden face down no matter what. Okay, no turn to play is great for us. I think I hold the Lightning Helix, but we will just shock this right now. Ooh. So one for Flyer, one turn face up, love the top two cards of your library. Put one of them into your hand and the other into the graveyard. Lightning Helix can go face, right? Yes. Any target. Make sure we can make our face down card 3-3. Three, three. Or we can Cranko plus Lightning Helix. Yeah, I think I like that more. Boros Beats! So binding, still lethal with the vigilante. Ooh, do they have a counter? Or a bounce spell? Probably a bounce spell, right? Yeah. Okay, they did survive. And they topped, though. So. I think they're gonna be okay here. Probably gonna pop like another makeshift. Another bounce spell, okay. We do just get to attack and flip here. Because they have to block.
Oh, they're holding on for sure. Oh no, we're dead. We need to draw our menace card. Can I get indestructible? I can't get indestructible. So I guess they just trade with it this turn. They can give a light blink. Gain some light. Yeah, go back to eight. They're doing okay. Put the automaton plus vigilante though. Get rid of that lad. That's way too many lads, sir. Damn. I mean, I'm. I'm glad they weren't in a position where they could keep this alive because this is a. Bomb and a half. Uh, five, four mana, five, five flyer. Enters battlefield, investigate twice, and then for one mana, you can sacrifice an artifact. It gains Vigilance, Lifelink, or Hexproof until end of turn. So yeah, let's morph this so we can protect our creatures if they have anything crazy. And we'll just swing out here. Mind this trade. I got a two two. Do I care about that? They got a two two. Even if I flip, yeah, okay. So we're okay with this. Don't get to keep open or flip for the gatekeeper this turn, though. Whenever you cast an artifact spell, investigate. Activate abilities of artifacts you control. Cost one less to activate. Oh my god, another mana. This effect can't reduce the mana and the cost to less than one mana. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield, put a plus one. This creature gets, or target creature gets plus one, plus one, and just a 2 2 detective. Yeah, I think we're good to attack here. Vigilante putting in work. Awkwardly to flip the dog. It has one less life. <laughs> I guess I will not flip it. Is this lethal? This is a counter on it. It goes to four attack. Yeah, it's just lethal. Oops, I should have just... Um... Can I decline? Can I submit zero? What's that non-land permanent? Wow. Okay, <laughs> I didn't realize this was- I thought this was only for creatures, wow. So yeah, we could have killed them earlier probably by get rid of, getting rid of their enchantment and getting our Cranko back. But yeah, the opponent seems a little irritated at us with a bunch of your ghosts, so I'll just- Oh, I was gonna cut to the end, but they did end up conceding. Nice. Two, oh, good start. Oh, forgot we have this card in our deck. But nothing to do on one, two- I guess we have something to do with turn three. I think we can do better. I mean, at least the not my watch might do some work here, but we got a two, three. I think I'm still gonna pitch a planes, which is a little greedy, but we're gonna need our red source eventually. 
two three as in my not on my watch in turn two which probably isn't gonna do much yeah unfortunate hand here did hit the third land that's good against a green black deck which i think might be a little bit of an issue for us they probably got a lot of good late game and we didn't have a quick start like we normally do Not block, you got me. You do find a land. Do like this card as well. I'm saying Tracker might be pretty decent against them. No land again. But once again, we can just disguise a creature. <laughs> Take my knot on my watch. Do it. Do it. Nice. Wait, should I be concerned about that? No, no. Edge of the battlefield, destroy it, target token and opponent controls. Call a surprise witness. Yeah, I guess we're just lightning helixing here. Land, please. Bye, five. Stop. Okay. This deals four damage? Yeah. Great. <laughs> Do I want a triple block? I guess we gotta. Lose six life? They gain six life? Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Honestly, always forget this thing has even more text. Hmm. Didn't kill my dog walker. I think we're just dead here. <laughs> no matter what I did. I don't think we were winning this game. Now I do wish I had that um, not on my watch back. And it's pretty clear why they took it. More rares. And just about if it's suspected, when it deals combat damage to a player, you draw a card and lose the life. Whenever it has dealt damage, opponent. That card's pretty good. I guess it is four mana. Indestructible menace? That card is sick. That's right. Vigilance can't block. What you gonna do? <laughs> Alright, next game, next game. Alright, I cut the knot on my watch and I put in the due diligence. We'll see the consequences of my actions. Oh, forgot we have that card. Keepable. Do I want to play the performer out as a 3-2? Flying lifelink. Yikes. I think we do. Whenever another detective enters the battlefield, it says plus one, plus one. Or is turn to face up. 
Yeah, that's, that light blinker is gonna wreck us. We do have a way of getting the performer back. But yeah, uh, Labor's draw here, I think, kind of wrecking us. I mean, it's not the worst. Obviously not great, though. Get in for two. And yeah, let's just play up the tracker. Next turn we can play out the dog walker in disguise and flip it, or we can flip the basher. Ward creature, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna attack with both. And yep, I just play my dog walker if they don't walk. Can also play the innocent bystander instead of flipping. That's okay. Maybe it's better to play the Hellion instead than if I was gonna do that play because I can flip the Hellion next turn. Yeah, that might have been better. Attacking's not a good sign. Holding up one red, they probably got a shock or something. Again, I don't know what they could have aside from a shock. Ooh, shock would be really bad, though. Let's attack like this instead. I feel like they probably do have a shock. So I don't want to flip this and then they just shock my double strike trampler. I'd rather just play the Hellion this turn and flip out the dog walker. Like to draw our anthem effect for once. <laughs> Three, four, five mana now. I wonder how much life they've gained off this Enforcer.
Whoa. Four, five, six, seven, eight damage. They go to 17. We have six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Ah. Uh. Okay, I'm still not blocking. That's lethal. <laughs> All right, just a little worried that magic of that life blinker. Great top deck. All right, three one. So at least we get our thousand gems back, or at least we get a thousand gems back when we uh, lose the next two games. Three one, game five. Got a two drop with a surprise witness. But me, this we really need. Like, we're all in on the Gatekeeper as a 2-drop. This hand isn't that good. But I'm keeping it because we're on the play as a 2-drop. <laughs> and we got a way to bring the Gatekeeper back when it dies. Here we go. Oh, they didn't kill it. Nice. Yellow. All in. All in, Gatekeeper. Should probably just be removing his Whipcracker, but I think I can get him with the investigation plus three plus three dang it i mean it's not the worst you can just bring him back as a flyer now <laughs> but yeah if i had just removed it we probably would have been in a better spot oh this card's really good cloak two of the top five four mana make two two twos And you can flip them later? I don't like that. Yeah, I don't like seeing that here. Damn, though, if we just had removed their creature, we would have been in a real nice spot, eh? I think we need that. Kinda need land. Yeah, this sucks. This sucks. Do not feel good about our position when it has too much value. But hopefully, maybe, maybe they can never deal with the 3 2 flyer and we just get there. Oh, we can start making a 5-5. Five, five. Reach. Do I cycle this in case we hit a land? 
maybe. Did not hit a land. They can make a 5-5 five, five flat. Don't think we can pump quite yet. In fact, we can attack now. We can also get rid of their land. Yeah. I guess I can make another one. Maybe I should have got rid of the Whisperer instead. Oops. <laughs> a bit of a oops there, yeah. Maybe I should have got rid of the Whisperer instead. I was like, ooh, we get to take them off a land, but they have so many, it probably doesn't matter. <laughs> nice. That's really good, because we can just kill their Whisperer here. And I think that's lethal. Nice. All right. Ooh, beat their value. 4 1 now. Yeah, Dexton, great. Maybe Boros Beat is the way in every single format. Point it on the play. But we got a good hand. And hey, look, our War Leader's Call that we haven't been to play even once yet. I wonder how long it'll be till they make a set where Boros Aggro isn't the way to go. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Obviously, I don't know if Boros Agro is amazing this format. But I mean, with Novice Inspector in the, in the draft format, uh, it probably is. It probably is the way to go. Green, white. Yeah, turn one Novice Inspector is not what I'd like to see. That's a good shark target, though. Goodbye. And yeah, let's put the bystander and play the performer next turn. No blocks. Nice. They're probably just missing a land if this is their best play. Ooh, never mind. We're playing Cranko. Surprised they attacked with the novice. Knowing they could attack in for two. No! Cranko! You'll be missed, Cranko. Yeah, next turn we can play the War Leader's Call with the Performer, but again, we're not doing amazing, I'd say. Depending on what they do this turn. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> yes, I will attack with the bystander. Gonna have to get through the night watch eventually, and this at least gives us a um a um investigation token. Excuse me, can you stop playing creatures? Blocking is cheating. You got it, man. <laughs> Draw our other more cards so we can just win off the damage of the performer. I mean, that counts. That does count. And yeah, I will flip this. Get an extra few points of damage here. And if they're not too careful, we might be able to ping them out with this war, killer, war 
leader's call because this makes two dogs as well. Two, four, five. Yeah, I'll, I'll take it. Seems a little aggressive. Ooh, they get a performer here though. Yeah, we should flip this in response. Get him for a boatload of damage. I think they're dead on the backswing now. Yep. Real aggressive attacks from the opponent. But yeah, we take those. Good job, war leaders. I'm glad I got you cast you at least once this draft. Five wins. On the play with a awful hand. Definitely got a mulligan that. I'm gonna keep this, but again, I don't want to just only because I don't want to go to five. But this hand is also awful. But we are a five win, so no matter one, no matter what, we will end up with a profit from this draft, which is always nice. I think I will just shock that. But I guess I could have waited a little bit. Tax exile card from Graver, then investigate. Yeah, you know, it's just ooh, let's play the correct card. Don't want to give it plus two, plus two, and vigilance, that's for sure. Next turn, we can disguise and flip the uh, performer. Or not. <laughs> ah, or we can. All right, who wins? One performer or five cards. That's right, it has word two. Can't murder it in your face. What are you gonna do? Make me sack it? Please don't make me sack it. <laughs> deserved. I deserved that. Ooh. Ah, uh, are you going to collect evidence now? I think I should get rid of the creature. Because we got some recursion effects. Yeah, but the mind rot after mulliganing. Not what we wanted, that's for sure. And the land is also not what we wanted to see. Could probably just play it out. I don't want them to mind rot this out of my hand. If they have another one. E Not the worst. Oh, but they're putting all their lands in their yard, so they're gonna draw even more spells. Ooh, two can surveil. Two. Aha! I can also put lands in my yard. Take that. I know I said I should play it out, but I don't think they're gonna be running two mind rots. Wherever that card is. Cerebral cerebral <laughs> cerebral on Do 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 I kind of don't even want to block. They're being so aggressive, I think they got something. They stopped my flyer anyways, so I probably should block. Yep. And we are on the defense now. But again, I don't want to block their curious cadaver, because when they sack a clue, they could return it from the graveyard to their hand. Pretty sick card. Don't expect this to work out for me. I'm sure, they have like that six mana cast a card from your opponent's graveyard or something. Don't know if that's instant speed though, so they probably just have a removal spell. I mean, we are winning this race if they have nothing in their hand. 
can get him down to 3 HP. We have a Lightning Helix as an out. And a Cranko if they don't have any blockers. The Hasty Boy. Don't play anything with 3 power. You cheat. Lightning Helix. Damn it. Four or greater. Gotta hope they buff creature somehow. Ah, uh, it's so unfortunate. Oh wait, do they have a removal anyways? Yeah, that's pretty unfortunate. Dang, if I had to run the lightning helix instead. Would have been okay. Yeah, they're just smart going for it. <laughs> yeah, they got me. They got me, they got me. Close though. Close game. I don't know if there anything I could have done differently. He didn't block the 2 1? No, that wouldn't have helped. Yeah, I don't think there's much we could have done there. Unfortunate. 5-2. Next game. Good hand, but on the draw. Looks like we can actually disguise. Oh, I guess I'm going to disguise that too. Can we just play the gatekeeper again? Not disguised? You know what? This time I think I'm going to play it. Like, I'm gonna wait till turn three before playing these cards. Yeah, I'm gonna wait. Let's see if we can get a performer dub here. We got a lightning helix here if they play anything. Just kidding. That has a word. Doi. Wish I had that last turn. This is cheaper to flip. Mana 2 1. A 3 mana to suspect it, and if it's already suspected, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter. Sure. That sucks. <laughs> really hoping to hit a land. Don't want to do diligence. How much is this to flip? One red. Could trade this for both his creatures. That's probably fine if he wants to do that. But I think they're just going to take the three here. And then we can just play the automaton. And dig for a land. White land, but still a land. Sure. Going for a race, I think I'm okay with that. Aftermath, target play these cards to cards. I'm okay with all of this. I didn't think they get the Okay, maybe I'm not okay with all of this. <laughs> That's funny. Mm -hmm. Get in for three. Play out the dog walker or the gatekeeper. Yes, the gatekeeper.
keep opening red. And yeah, let's pass the turn. Hopefully you can just burn them out, but yeah, he's got a he's got a lot of value on this board. Yeah, spend your turn just drawing three cards. And let me draw one more land off the top so I can go dog walk or flip in one turn. Suspect, sure. Could a trade, but I'm just gonna take it. With the lightning, he looks for some life. Binding is also pretty good. Two, four, five damage. Go up to. Yeah, and a land would have been amazing. Hit him for four seven. Ooh, if I lightning he looks as a lethal, that might be lethal. So lightning he looks. Attack. Blockers, no blockers. Flip. And, um, yeah, <laughs> exile something, but nice, 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 nice. We actually got a win with the pyrotech there. Okay, 6-2, uh, final round for the trophy. Okay, on the play with a questionable hand. We have a shock, which is nice. And this just does a whole lot of nothing, so I think we got a mulligan this. It's gonna suck to lose like this, but sometimes there's nothing you can really do. Okay, land is great. Not a land. Tunnel tipster. I will trade for that. <laughs> and yeah, just play out the dog walker. So we're actually doing all right, but they can play up to a four drop here. Attacks, you may collect evidence three. When you do, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature you control. Ah, maybe we just play the flyer here. Ah, it's a pretty good turn for the due diligence though, so. I think I'll go for the more aggressive a play. Nice. No, come back. All right, they're at 10. Still haven't drawn any red mana, nor red cards, I guess. That's fine. <laughs> it's not fine, because we draw red spells now, don't have any red mana to cast it. Unfortunate. This can't be blocked by creatures that don't have a name. So the face down parts, I guess. Do tokens have names? 7-7 seven, is pretty good. Um, sure. Dog walker is good. No surprise reach, okay. <laughs> Mono no, white. Mono no, white. The Thunder probably thinks we're mono. Actually, no, we pitched the pasture so that we know we're not mono white. Binding is pretty brutal. Damn it. Maybe they get a little too aggressive and kill them with the dog walkers. Red. 
red card, huh? Oh, look how cute these dogs are. How have I not noticed this? That's adorable. All right, opponent is pretty much stable. Nice that they didn't gain life with that. I guess they didn't couldn't if they wanted to. Four, five. No blocks. So they got one, two, three, four blockers. And give this menace. Say so block, block. Eat, eat. Take five damage? Doesn't seem that good for me. Yeah, they can like eat, eat, double block. Just gonna put on the dog walker here. Let's say double block with the one one and one three. This gets rid of both of them. Oh. No, this is really dumb. Oops. Oops, punting. <laughs> punting, punting, punting. Shouldn't have done that. Forgot they could just block with a one one and a seven seven. Second red is pretty good because we can flip this face down card next turn. We really need the anthem effect. Jump here. Uh, wing out, they go. Maybe trade, block, block. Yeah, let's see what they... Let's start with this. See what they do. I think they have some kind of combat trick. Attack with the dog walker, trade for one of those. Does that untap it? Wow. That was absolutely brutal. Okay, well, there's not much we could do then. But again, it's not over. Hmm, got me nine. Play lightning helix yet? We haven't. 
good. Double block on the opponent. Yeah, I was just hoping they didn't block there, but... Go to one here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Damage with the lightning helix. One off. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Block, block, die. I can ch block, chump, chump. Seven damage. Do I have any way of getting two more damage through? The shock? Well, I think I'm going to return this to my hand. And hope they don't rip anything off the top. Yeah, trading that one turn for that... Yeah, running my um, dog walker into that 1-1 one -one might have cost me this game. And I don't know if it mattered, but... Oh, I have to chump with Cranko because they get another counter. Yeah, there's not much we could have done here then. But this was a really good game. Ah, uh, yeah, it sucks losing at the 6 win. Seems like a common occurrence for me. But it is what it is. Dang. Well, again, 6-3. Still really good. Get all our money back and some. But yeah, if I had kept that creature, like we might have been okay. Yeah, that was I think we would have won that game if I hadn't uh attacked my dog walker like that. So Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Hopefully you still enjoyed the draft, even though I did. Hit the subscribe button.